Hey everybody, and welcome back to Northern Lion Plays XCOM Enemy Unknown. So if you missed the last episode, I ended on a cliffhanger here after we shot down our third UFO. We are going to send a Sky Ranger out here to get it, obviously. Now here's the issue. Why do I have uh, squaddies here? Nothing against the squaddies, to be sure, but when I could have... Um, yeah, clear this unit, please. Give me Pete Kachu here. So we, uh, maybe it's because I have too many heavies? No, I think this is a, a fine setup. In fact, if we get rid of uh, Dumont's here, we could add Dominique Morel? I'm trying to remember, oh, we, maybe she doesn't have a class, she's just a rookie. Okay, so we do want Julie Dumont, I think. Uh, this is a nice little layout for us. We've got Articuno, Sea King, Pete Kachu, who's been great for us. We have a sniper in Elike Trode. What can I say? Maybe I stretched the boundaries of acceptable Pokemon names, but I did what I could. So we're headed out to, uh, I believe, Brazil here for a mission. We're going to begin our assault. Usually these UFO missions are a little tricky. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Okay, so standard mission, uh, with a UFO anyway, we are going to kill as many of the aliens as possible, preferably all of them. Although I suppose we could use the arc thrower to try to detain some. Uh, but beyond that, we just want to avoid excess damage to our craft. Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Okay, so step one, we're just going to spread our guys out as we often do. Uh, if I was being smarter, I would probably send rookies out primarily, and then, or I guess squaddies out primarily, and then keep my more senior military personnel behind. But I'm not really super concerned about that. I'm mostly concerned. Like, the one tactic I will respect is keeping... We'll just put the sniper in the damn... Keeping the sniper around uh, the back. so that, Because they have the greatest range, obviously. So it makes sense to keep them as far back as possible. So we still don't see any enemies. We're going to have uh, the alien activity starting here. Now remember, you know... Sky's the limit in terms of alien assholes that we could run into. Could be floaters, could be thin men. Uh, could be... Chrysalis, although I hope to God it's not Chrysalis. And I assume... Uh, we're also going to get some of those aliens that are pure energy, which is probably... I probably should have taken an arc thrower for this mission. That may have been a smart idea. Did I? Did one of my rookies have... Or one of my squaddies have an arc thrower? I can't remember. Anyway, we're going to move Julie Dumont up here. She's a heavy. She can take it if we send her up there. We still don't see anybody anyway. Uh, Electrode. We're probably just going to dash her over here. Because we know that she's not going to be at risk of seeing any enemies unless they kind of ambush us on the left side. And Kachu. He does have an Arc Thrower, uh, which could be awesome for us. Again, if we manage to catch one of those beings of pure energy. I'm not sure if I've done that yet. I'm pretty sure I haven't. And, of course, Dr. Valen is all on my ass. Quiet. Capture these aliens. Stop blowing everything up. Um, what's going on here? That is a lot of floaters that I did not expect. That's also what I said when I left the bathroom this morning. So where is our sniper? Electrode. Cannot see anybody yet. And she can't move and shoot at the same time, so we're just going to put her into Overwatch. Uh, and we're going to see... Okay, so she's got three potential shots here. Are they close enough that we can get... Well, we can get one good rocket like this, which may actually kill two floaters for us. Obviously, it's going to blow up those components, but that's going to be awesome if that actually works. Beautiful. So we killed two floaters there. Dr. Volan's going to be pissed, but whatever. Um, what's going on here? Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the camera. Uh, Julie Dumont's... Can take another shot here. She could shoot a rocket as well, but, you know, I don't think there's any need for us to get that crazy right now. We'll just take the shot here. Maybe we can hit. Hopefully. Well, it was 47% chance, so I didn't necessarily expect that to work out perfectly for us. Mad Dog Carol King. We may actually want to run and gun her here. Just because we can see an enemy, so, you know, why not use that when we have the chance? And we'll send her up here. Uh, and her shotgun should allow her to do some damage here. 60% chance. That's worth it in my books. Ah, it's a nasty miss. She's been having some troubles lately. Uh, now we have Artie Kuno here, who we can move up to here, maybe. Not really behind cover, but probably not going to be the number one target for the aliens anyway. So we can just slot him in up here. He can now see, but of course he doesn't have a chance to take a shot. We'll see what the floater does here. He might just back off, because obviously his two friends died immediately. That's what life was like for me as soon as those chrysalis showed up. It was like, oh, I guess my existing strategy is, you know, falling completely by the wayside. So who are we going to start with here? So we have, uh, where's our sniper? Sniper is Electrode. Um, we're going to wait for her, actually. 
We're just gonna move up slowly but surely here. So we'll start with Mad Dog Sea King. We have two Sectoid targets who are going to move around to the left side here, which may actually put them in range for some of my guys. Obviously not this one, but let's see if we put um, Artie Kino here. Can he see? He cannot see any of the aliens, so we're just going to set him down right here. Of course, oh, actually you can't see them even when we set him down over there. Um, what if we move Julie Dumont over here? She can't even see the aliens, so we're going to... Set her up uh, behind here, I think, is probably our safe bet. Uh, it's not the safest, but it's safe enough. And then we're going to put our sniper over here. So those aliens should be in range uh, maybe next turn. And we'll move our other Pete Catchu up here. So they're all in pretty well defense positions. But who knows, these sectoids could regroup with that floater and do some damage or something. Of course, they're going to start off, as they do with every battle, with a mind meld here. I believe what that does is it shares vision for the targets like if one of them sees what's going on then the other one will see it as well kind of like that sniper perk where you can shoot from anybody else's range man that was a hell of a shot there i knew i should have put her in a different position so this floater is just continuing continuing to fall back here that's fine by me so we definitely want to make sure that we get some kills here that's 56 28 well 56 is better than 28 in my book so let's see thank god that actually worked and our mind melded alien also got killed. Beautiful. Sea King also earned a promotion, which is fantastic for us. Let us send Artie Kuno up here, because we do know that there is a floater. Nothing going on there. Uh, Julie Dumont is our heavy. We're going to move her up to, you know, pretty much the same position here. We're going to begin a frontal assault on our UFO. We're obviously going to move Electrode up to a position where she's actually, you know, going to be useful as a sniper is my uh, professional opinion of what we should do. We'll move Pikachu up too. I don't really think he's done too much so far. And we'll move Electrode. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter if she's behind cover. That sounds terrible, but I don't think she is going to be at risk of being attacked if she's one space away from cover back here. We want to get her some kills though so that she can get promoted because I do believe that I am bereft of snipers right now, uh, except for her. So if I can get better snipers, I'm A-OK -okay with that. So let's take our guys at the front here and move them forward just to see if they can get a visual on a target which it doesn't seem that they can right now we're going to move her up against the door we don't see anything it's Electrode, we're going to skip to Artie Kuno first uh, we're going to dash Artie Kuno up into this position here smoke grenade on Artie Kuno, so who knows, maybe we can make something good happen there we have Sergeant Pete Kachu and maybe we'll um, put him here and we're going to get ready to move him around on the right side so that no matter where this enemy is or these enemies are, probably more than one, um, we're going to be able to uh, get the flank on them. And we're going to move uh, Carol King up a little bit more. So she's going to basically cover those guys. And then Electrode is going to go into Hunker Down here. Sadly, not Overwatch. But again, this is a good uh, tactical position for our units to be in right now. We do hear a sound coming from the left, which scares the shit out of me because I've based all of our cover around uh, assaults coming from the front. Looks like the floater is just going to continue to fall back. No, maybe not. Now, what we really have to worry about is this alien over here on the right side. So what I think I'm going to do... Let's see, Julie Dumont has 27% chance to hit. That's pretty bad. Um, how about you, Artie Kuno? 30% chance to hit. Does up to 4 damage. Hmm. How about you, Electrode? Doesn't have a shot. I did not expect that. Uh, okay, okay. Let's think about this. Pete Kachu... If we move him back into this position, he is going to be able to shoot with a 30% chance to hit. So let's give like let's stack like three 30% chances to hit here. That's going to be a miss. And uh, if we take out this floater, I'm not so worried about the enemy on the other side. We have a running gun from Mad Dog here too, which might be a good idea. So yeah, let, let, yeah, let's run and gun here. So we're going to set the running gun to go to here. I'm just worried about there being other enemies we can't see right now. Uh, and then the shotgun should have a good chance to hit and do a lot of damage. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! Some of these misses are comical. So we got a 30% chance to hit on this one. Let's take it. I don't want to advance our position too much. This is fucking unbelievable. How about you, Julie? What do you got for us? I mean, I don't want to fire a rocket because... Uh, Sergeant, or Dr. Valen is gonna be super pissed. Let's, oh, okay. Can we take a shot here? 37% chance? It's worth a shot. 
man, this guy is great at, you know, moving slightly to the left and covering his face. Uh, and we're gonna move Electrode. I think the safest position is, like, right here. She's gonna have a shot on the alien next turn, I think. But more so, uh, she's just gonna be covered from the alien on the left. So there's gonna be at least one alien in here, probably more. And we know for a fact there's aliens on the, uh, left side. So we'll go back and get them later if we have to. Or if we can, I should say. 32% chance! Let's give it a try. Jesus Christ, we're gonna have to reload soon, too. She's only got one shot left in that shotgun. Uh, RDQ note has zero visibility here. How about now? None, okay. Uh, is there a separate way in here? We can send her over here, maybe. Or him, again. Sorry, Artie. I always forget. Uh, and maybe we'll send our brave Julie Dumont over here. Please tell me I still only see... Yes, still only see one enemy. That is actually super important. And we can dash uh, Eli Trode in here. Who is going to have a shot, maybe? Nope. Can't take the shot anyway because of the, the way the moves are set up right now. But uh, this is proving that one floater is proving to be a total pain in the dick. He might actually get a shot at me here because there's no real place for him to fall back to. Yeah, well he's definitely going to be uh, out there. Hopefully I'm actually able to hit him. Um, let's start with Elac Trode. Because again, I do want her to get the kill if possible. Jesus Christ. I mean, that was a 29% chance. But at some point, you would expect these to, you know, just get lucky once. Again, let's take a crack here with our assault rifle. Finally, we do three damage. Um, let's switch to the ones closest to him, because obviously she has the greatest risk. We'll switch to our pistol. What's the shot on this one? 100% chance. At least do one damage, please. Close quarters. Managed to get the job done for once. <clears throat> and we're going to move Artie Kuno in here. And see if there's any other targets we need to worry about in this room right here. Do we see anything? Looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Okay, but isn't there another one in this room? Yeah, there's two. That's going to be a nice scientific haul for us. Please tell me no more aliens in this room. Good. We're going to open that door as soon as we get a chance. Uh, but I think also... Well, you know what? Let's, let's breach both rooms at the same time. I think that is how Ding Chavez would do it. So we'll see what we've got for alien activity here. Remember, we do have one more alien on the, the left side. I remember that for sure. And we're going to check out our right side here. It always takes a second after you open those doors to see what's inside. There is uh, one of those beings of pure energy. Cool. So we are going to try to take this guy in alive. He's going to run directly for me. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Now this is a big spaceship. We have two power cores at least, two flight computers. Are we going to be able to take this guy alive? Where the heck is our... Um... Oh, Pete, catch you, man. You're so far away. I think we might just go for the kill, actually. So we have a uh, assault rifle here. Does up to four damage. This could be big if it if it misses. God fucking damn it! You had one job, RDQ. No, one job. We're gonna spend this turn. Uh, I think maybe moving over here, opening this door to see if we can get a better angle to shoot at the uh, the enemy target. I don't think we have a shot, sadly. Uh, and. Oh, we probably do have a shot, but the weapon's out of ammo. So yes, let's reload. I'm not happy about this. Uh, because I think it puts us in a, a terrible situation. I don't know even, even know where to move Electrode here. So let's switch to uh, Pete Cachu. He can move as far in as here, but I don't think we really want to move him in that far. Let's just move him over here for now and see if he can get a shot. Because my number one... He can't. My number one concern right now... Is not taking this dude in alive, it's making sure uh, that my other unit does not die. So we might actually run and gun here. Going in for the kill. She has no ammo left in her shotgun, which is like really terrible for us. And actually the running gun is not going to do the, us that much good here. But we can run, at least run her over here, puts her in an okay position. And she can fire after this. But I don't think she can reload. And she can't actually shoot a target? No, I want you to use your pistol. Can she shoot a target now? Apparently not. Okay. Well, you know what? Going to Overwatch then. Uh, this is not good. We're going to send her into 
Overwatch as well, just in case an alien comes by. I don't want to put my sniper into harm's way here. Now, we're probably going to take a hit, like, right on the chin here. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, I would say, uh, how that went down. So who do we have here? We have Dumont, who, for whatever reason, cannot see this alien, which boggles my mind. Now she can't. Okay. So I don't want you to kill it. I just want you to hurt it. You hear me on this one? I don't want you to kill it. I just want you to hurt it. Shoot for the legs, Julie. God damn you. Okay. So let's open this door while we're here. If I could... Do I have to rotate this around a little bit? I can't see the door opening symbol. I don't just want to walk in here, though. That seems like, a, you know, a recipe for me to get fucking killed. Um, but let's do it! Because we're playing XCOM and that's crazy. What the heck is this? Is this the alien flight computer? I thought that was this thing right here. I don't know. Let's, um... We have to move outside. Because we know that there is an alien around here somewhere. And it's probably the last alien because we've killed a fair few. Um, let's see if we can get Electrode into a good position. Is this a good position? Nobody knows yet. <laughs> Might be completely indefensible. Uh, Artie Kuno is hurt. You know what? Maybe he can spend a turn using a med pack on himself. That'll give him extra support points, I think, which will eventually allow him to get three uses per med pack, right? Oh, finally, we have. I just saw an alien show up. Not this one. I saw. I thought I saw like a an alien over here. Yeah, there is one. There's a sectoid hiding behind this power core. Did not expect that. Okay, so let's rotate ourselves around here again. I do not want to dash because I want to, you know, be able to hit. Why do you have to dash to make this happen? Can, I guess she can't move around the debris out here. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, now the issue here, and it's a big issue, is that we really do not want to uh, attack around this power core because this could explode and kill all of us. Which, you know, if you can't tell by the tone of my voice, is kind of a big deal. So I think what we might do is actually just kind of throw Julie Dumont under the bus here. She's probably going to take some hits, but at least she's not going to put herself in a position where she's also firing on the power core. But, you know, our sniper could just end this right here. Of course! That's actually great! Now, that shouldn't be the end of the, uh, yeah, I was going to say, that shouldn't be the end of our, our journey here. Let's just make sure we're not missing any aliens. Uh, and then we'll dash out here. I think there's still one more on our left side. And of course, Artie Kuno is in the worst possible position because I just wasted a turn healing him up. But at least now, uh, having used the med pack, I don't think he's going to have to spend any time in the medical bay. He may. I don't know. I might be totally wrong about that. So we hear some sounds coming from back where we heard them a little bit earlier. And overall, this mission has gone pretty well so far. Let's be honest. Uh, we haven't lost anybody. We've only taken one hit. We're going to have to do some dashing here. But I believe there's only one enemy left. And I don't know what it's going to be. It could be a Thin Man. Oh, that was a misclick there, but... Yeah, a pretty bad misclick at that. It didn't put us in a great position. Um, yeah, uh, nobody's, nobody's been killed. Very few people have been hurt. We've only taken one or two hits. Uh, and it looks like we're going to get all of this technology intact, which is, of course, beautiful. And hopefully we get a damn lot of technology and credits. Because in particular, our, our credit situation is really bad right now. We desperately need... To be launching a satellite as soon as possible. You need to reload, lady. Yeah, you can wait. We can always run and gun you back into the fight. For now, reload that shotgun, which is actually where your usefulness lies. Of course, there's yet another alien over here. I should probably stop sending my sniper in as my, like, primary unit here. Uh, we're gonna allow... Oh, why did I use a run and gun there? That was actually really dumb. I was gonna say, like, I thought that gave her, like, a third move that she could use to maybe do a second movement or a, or a dash, but no. We can put her into Overwatch anyway. Um, while we're here, we might as well, I think, move our sniper forward. I know that sounds shitty and a really bad idea, but if she gets a visual on a target, then at least I know where to move my guys. I think that's where the sound was. But we still don't have any visual on that, which is crazy to me. Um, maybe this is a fairly good position here. But yes, mostly we want to get that satellite up, because otherwise we're going to lose the United States in a matter of days. But uh, we definitely will get some bonuses from our uh, council report, but that's still like three or four days away, I think, by the time we get back. 
Those council reports are, are huge in terms of the amount of credits and, and currency and upgrades you get. But, uh, if we don't live that long, like, if we lose the United States before then, there's not that much we can do, is there? Okay, so we still don't have any visuals, but we do have, uh, units in the area here. So let's see if we can get a visual so our sniper can take a hit. So far, so terrible, actually. This should at least give us something. Can't believe that we got nothing at all out of that. Okay, so we're just gonna dash up again. All of our units being out in the open doesn't necessarily matter if there's only one enemy, because they can only shoot one of us at a time, although I'd prefer for my units to not be, you know, indisposed in the medical bay, if possible. At the very least, we're slowly closing in, like, triangulating the position here on the enemy from the noises that we're, we're hearing. I hope. Anyway, otherwise. Jesus, this is a, he's a wily one. Um, let's, let's dash over, ah, it seems like a bad idea. Let's dash over here. Which I think is going to allow us to stand behind that tree, poke out and take shots as necessary. The aliens gotta be in here, right? Okay, the noise continues to come from further to the east. And we still continue to have no visuals whatsoever. Alright, Pikachu, this one's on you, buddy. Uh, we're going to move you over here first. Please get a visual. Nothing, huh? How about over here? Just peek your head over a little bit, please. Um... That's a damn good question. What should I do? I kind of like going up on the hill here. Might It's difficult to kind of lock onto where I want to go. This is a reasonable facsimile. Is she not going there? Did I mess it up somehow? This is probably fine. We still have one turn left until running gun's going to be available. I, still, I can't believe we don't have a visual here. This is insanity. Um, I will dash over here because we're all going to be prepared to go up that ramp, I suppose. Julie Dumont maybe can come around the uh, east side here just in case they're on a lower level and I've we've made some terrible mistakes here with our hearing and our sniper again basically totally worthless right now we're gonna just kind of slot her over here and move her into position on the next turn if at all possible like we it keeps zooming in on where I presume the aliens are oh my god I didn't even know the map extended this far to be honest with you so we have Carol King sorry mad dog Carol King um, first things first, let's just move her up. That's down, that's not up. Alright, Carol. I can tell we're gonna have some movement troubles here. I want you to be up here. I, I don't really- oh, maybe we just need to yeah, do that, that'll make things easier. So I just use the scroll wheel there. Artie, I'm relying on you. No visual. Kind of remarkable. Um, okay, so Carol, what can you do for me here? I can at least get you up on top. We can probably take our sniper up there now, too. Yeah, at least in a position like this. This is a surprisingly large map. I kind of thought it was just like the UFO and the very, very close surrounding area. Uh, we're going to dash our heavy down here. And, of course, we see some kind of, uh, like, flaming area around here, which, you know, you would anticipate there being an alien around here if there was one left to be found. But my god, how long can this possibly go on for? Oh my god, it is far away. <laughs> well, um, let's stick with our units who are in this area. Send Pikachu up here. And again, at this point, I'm being a little bit reckless now. I kind of just want it. Oh, there we go. It's only a sectoid, though. We're probably going to get hit here. Yeah, right in the face. Only took three damage, and Pikachu is probably thusly going to be out for a mission now. Which is shitty. But... What if we move over here? Can we get like a nice top-down shotgun shot? No. But what we can do, I think, is run and gun, and then fire after our second move, so we could just kind of drop down right beside the sectoid. Great hiding spot, by the way, buddy. Try not to make so much noise next time, because uh, I made it pretty easy to give you a shotgun enema. And that's going to be the end of that mission. So that's eight aliens killed, no operatives lost. That is obviously good. We got a ton of technology there. It was kind of tedious, considering the... Um the way that last alien hid. But all's well that ends well. And we're only going to have one unit, I think, who is going to go to the medical bay. Oh, now we got three units who are going to go to the medical bay. But, Pikachu becomes a captain now. It allows two grenades in a single inventory slot or increases area of effect of suppression and all rocket attacks. Uh, kind of like uh, increases the area of effect. Let's confirm that. And we did have a lieutenant from Sea King here. 
Fires a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. The shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce damage. Or rapid fire. I like rapid fire. Take two shots against a single target. It carries reduced aim, but that's fine. Uh, and we'll continue here. So we've got a power source. Tons of good stuff there. Two... Okay, what we want to do first probably is uh, go to our gray market and sell these damaged components. So that's going to be another 70 that we're going to earn. Beautiful. Uh, now we can go to engineering and we can build a facility. What I really need to do... Build a satellite uplink. That's the most important thing by far. We're going to have almost we have seven credits left afterwards. And we have no power generation. So we need to build another power generator as soon as we get the chance as well. Um, we go to the foundry here, but we don't have any. We don't have enough credits to do anything with it. Alright, so we're going to quickly check this out. Uh, we got four days till our council report. Which is really where we're going to get our new money. But precision lasers is complete. Cool. What else do we have here? We got the scatter laser. Accuracy suffers greatly, that's fine. Laser sniper rifle seems cool. Um, let's go with the UFO power source. We may be able to adapt the technology to our own fighter craft. Cool. What's our new research that we can take? Oh, skeleton suit, I already took it. That's fine by me. Uh, and again, please just let the council report come in here before we get our next mission. Perfect, okay, let's see how we did. Commander, unfortunately, one of our members has chosen to discontinue their involvement in the XCOM project. That's it? I thought you were going to give me some reason why. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. Ah, uh, you know, you did okay. I mean, on the one hand, you did stop some abductions, do some good research, shoot down two UFOs. But on the other hand, uh, the United States has been overrun by aliens. I'd say that's worth about a B. Uh, but the big thing there is that we get the uh, bonus in terms of credits. So now we're up to 139. And we desperately need, if we're going to pull ourselves out of this, because I think we're in a lose situation here. This is not where I want to be. Uh, I think we need to build a power generator to allow us to get a little bit of extra generation going on here. Cool. So we got 11 days remaining until that satellite uplink. Five days remaining until the power generator's ready. Uh, we have to build the satellite as well, which requires us going into this. Uh, it's gonna cost 66 and take, takes 20 days, I think. Yeah, 20 days. Um, we're gonna submit the order here, get our satellite ready so it's gonna be ready to go uh, around the time, and it's going to be a little late, but around the time that our satellite uplink is done. And what satellites do is basically allow you to monitor uh, alien spacecraft in other regions, and in addition to that, uh, it'll lower panic just by launching it. So we're going to get ready to use this in Africa or Asia. But anyway, we're in a tough spot here. There's no question about that. The on-field stuff is going reasonably well, I would say, uh, but the overarching strategy is just not quite there yet. But we'll see what we can do. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.